Hey guys, so today, get ready with me. Um, so here's my, you know, tired, gross face with my glasses on. I'm gonna start with some moisturizer on my face, obviously. Nope, I'm on my feet, you know, where I'm gonna do my makeup on my feet. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so moisturizing the face, getting that all over, and then I start with some eye primer, or eyeshadow primer. And don't mind me like bobbing up and down all the time because I can't see without my glasses and when I'm doing other makeups I usually have my contacts in but I'm going to work and I don't wear my contacts all day because they're I like couple contacts but at the same time they're like uh, they hurt my eyes if I have them in for more than an hour so yeah so anyway we're gonna be using the morphe palette and I'm using a fluffy brush with a medium um, brown tone and putting that in the crease and blending it outwards and then I'm going to take a different brush and the two dark green tones I'm going to put um, in my crease as well but I'm not going to blend it out as far it's going to be more concentrated in the crease And I'm also blending that under the eye along with that brown beforehand. Then I'm taking another brush, a flatter brush, and I'm putting the two light green, the lighter greens. So the darker of the lighter greens is going on the outer corner, and the lighter of the lighter greens is going to go on the inner corner. Then I'm going to take black on a uh, small fluffy brush and I'm going to concentrate that completely in the crease. And if you're wondering what I'm looking down at, it's a mirror. But I can't see anything because I'm blind as a bat. Then with no extra product, I'm blending out all of my edges. And then I'm taking a, I think it's called a doe foot? I don't know what it's called. And taking this really pretty... Um, sparkly green and putting that on the inner corner and a little bit on the outer corner and blending out again so that part's done now time for some eyeliner this is liquid eyeliner uh, in a pen form and just gonna do a normal cat eye And yes, I pull on the skin around my eyes, and I know I shouldn't, but I do. Um, and now I'm going to do the inner corners with the eyeliner and just kind of also cap them out. And then I'm taking a crayon, I think it's called a crayon eyeliner, the pencil eyeliner, whatever. And it's it's really soft, so it goes on really well, and I put that on my tight line. And now I'm doing mascara. And if you're wondering why I blink every time I do mascara like this, that I blame my older sister on because when she did my makeup when I was younger... When she did my mascara, she'd always tell me to blink, and that's how I've literally always done my mascara ever since. So, I blink like crazy when doing my mascara. Now I'm taking another type of uh, pencil eyeliner, and I'm going to use this to block in my brows. I, n I don't have all the fancy eyebrow stuff. I literally use an eyeliner and eyeshadow. That's all I do. I don't care. Um, I don't, you know, I don't need fancy brow stuff to make my eyebrows look, you know, like eyebrows. And now I'm taking a spoolie and I'm kind of just fluffing that out into the um, hairs. Now I'm taking a very skinny small brush and taking some black eyeshadow and I'm putting that all on my eyebrows. And whatever I mess up, don't worry, I'm going to use some concealer and I'm going to conceal that crap. Make my, my uh, eyebrows kind of look similar somewhat as much as possible. <laughs> Thank you. 
And now I'm taking my concealer on a mirror piece. I always use a mirror piece. And I'm taking a, um, a flat rounded brush and I'm going around my eyebrows. And then I will also use this on my forehead, on my nose, underneath my eyeballs, on my chin, and on my lower jaw. Here I am fixing my eyebrow, messing it up, and then refixing it. I'm good at doing that. Oh, no, I haven't done that yet. I'll do that after, don't worry. But here I am taking a beauty blender, and a wet beauty blender, and um, blending that, that concealer out. After I'm done blending it out, I, I decide that I don't like the eyebrow. And then I redo it. Realize that I made it way too big again. And then concealed it to look exactly how it did before. So, Amy. After this, I'm going to use some setting powder, translucent setting powder, and it's by CoverGirl. I haven't told you what any of the other ones are from, but okay. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and wipe all that crap off. You want to be baked real nice. Here's me struggling to open my contour palette, and I'm going to contour. And I think I contour way up there just to try to hide those bald spots that I have right there. Which they're not bald spots, they're just how my hairline is, but I don't like them. And then I rub it in because it's always way too dark, but meh. And then I'm um, taking my blush and I'm patting that all over my cheeks, you know, where blush goes. And then this is my highlight. I put way too much of this on, on accident, but that's alright. I then, you know, highlight my pimples. See that shine? Holy crap! And I decided it's too much, so I kind of rub it out. And put my glasses back on. And now, finally, for lipstick. We're gonna do black and green, and then I'm pretty much done with this look. So, this was just my makeup look for going to work. Um, this has been my summer makeup for a while, so I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell so you know the next time I upload. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys!